Hello everybody. This week's camera is the Canon AF35M. It was known as the Auto Boy in Japan and marketed as the original Sure Shot in uh, the United States. Came out in 1979. It was one of the very first uh, active infrared autofocus cameras. Konica beat them to the autofocus honors, but theirs was a passive system. This one uh, triangulates. It's got an emitter, an, an emitter and a detector. It's got a pretty sweet 38 millimeter lens. Uh, goes from f2.8 to f16. Doesn't focus real close. Uh, focusing is from three feet to infinity. Uh, it's got a little kind of oblong pill looking thing. That's the autofocus zone. You can see that in the viewfinder. It's got a zone focus scale along the bottom of the viewfinder, uh, parallax marks for when you're pretty close, low battery, and a slow shutter warning. Uh, it'll accept uh, ISO film from 25 to 400. You set it manually with this uh, ring uh, within the lens here. Uh, the shutter goes from an eighth of a second to a five hundredth of a second. Uh, the flash gun flash is guide number 14 meters at uh, ISO 100. Uh, pluses, it takes AA batteries. Uh, the meter is within the filter ring, so it's automatically compensated for. The flash does not pop up automatically when it senses low light. You can ignore the slow shutter speed as long as you've got it stabilized and it'll go ahead and take the shot. Uh, the downsize, the motor wind for the film is pretty darn noisy. So like with a lot of these, if you want to be stealthy, you don't release the, uh, the shutter button until you put it in your coat pocket or you're somewhere where you can uh, make a little bit of noise. Um, there's no exposure compensation, although you can fiddle with the film speed to achieve that. Uh, the zone marks in the viewfinder, one thing that's kind of a drag, it doesn't come over and show you the zone that it's focused in until after the shot. So essentially it's telling you uh, the focus zone that the shot you just took was in. Um, the focus lock uses the same lever as the self timer. So, you know, you bring it down, you hit the button, and if you hit it again right away, it does a focus lock on whatever you were focused on when you first hit it. Um, if you don't hit the shutter button again, it just does the self timer and takes the shot. So, once you've hit the shutter button, whether you use this focus, or sorry, use the uh, the focus lock or the self timer, you're taking that shot. Um, these are all kind of little piddly things, though. The lens kind of makes up for it. It's really pretty sweet. So um, I'll shoot another roll through this, and I'll see you then.